Thanks for joining me on this episode of Ruthless TV. Listen, my question is, I need to know who's going to get knocked off next. Will it be Ellie, Max and Bobby, Kyle or Dale? Now we know that in the history of the Oval, um, everybody, you know, gets knocked off, you know, pretty easily. Like if you do something against the administration in a negative way and they find out about it, they just kill you. Like you're just going to be, you know, a memory um, once they find out. And that's just how they've been handling things there at the White House. And, you know, it doesn't make the storyline predictable too much. But, you know, we can kind of expect that, you know, it's going to be a whole lot of people dying on a whole lot of other mole folks coming, right? <laughs> and I really can't wait to see um, the, the vice president and uh, his wife, because I think that the two newcomers that will be joining the show is going to be there in that capacity as the vice president and the second lady. So that's going to be very interesting, you know, but they got to kill off some folks first. You know, I got to make room. <laughs> right. Now we do know that in one of the previews, Hunter and Ellie are on their way somewhere, right? We don't know where they're headed to, but we do know that Ellie stole the draws <laughs> of the president and she was trying to set him up and he knows this. So this is why I posed a question in one of the other videos as to why is Ellie still in the White House? Like if it were anyone else, she would be six feet under, right? And then also in the same preview, we saw Jason going into one of the rooms that Ellie was in and he looked extra, extra creepy, right? So we don't know if he's going to knock her off or you know what's gonna happen with her. So maybe she's going to be next on the list. Or will it be Max and Bobby? Of course, we know that it looks like they may have escaped the drone strike because Max pushed Bobby out just in time, right? And we saw their bodies flying through the air right ahead of the explosion, like just by a hair, right? So they could still be dead. I mean, just from the impact alone. And even if that is not their demise, they're gonna be extremely hurt, at least one of them, if not both. Then we have Kyle and Dale. We do know that in next week's episode that Dale did threaten Kyle and he said that he would kill him and he wouldn't mind spending time in jail after he did it. And Dale is really, really tired of Kyle stalking him. Like he stalks him almost on a daily, right? And then he's flashing a light all in his face, waking him up. So Dale's a little on edge, so he better watch out. So he may be next or Kyle may just turn it around and kill Dale because that's what killer Kyle does. He kills people, <laughs> you know, in a heartbeat. So he may just, you know, feel threatened and then just knock Dale off. Or will Priscilla go ahead and drop that poison in the tea of the first lady and get rid of her? Because of course we know that's gonna be a long-standing feud between those two. And I just don't know if I would be able to go to work every day, you know, under that type of leadership that she's exhibiting, you know, at the White House. Like that's just too much. So what do you guys think? Who do you think is gonna be next? Who's gonna get knocked off? Who's and who's gonna do it? So let me know in the comments. Tell me who's gonna be killed next and then tell me who's gonna kill them and why. That'll be a good trivia for you guys. So thanks so much for listening. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. And I'll see you on the next one.